Hey guys, today I want to talk about an issue which I think is uh, pretty commonly done, but I couldn't find any good documentation on how to do this, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and make that video for you guys now. And what I'm talking about is making a wing geometry in OpenVSP, using VSP to make a surface mesh of your geometry, and then exporting that to GMesh, where then you can make a 3D volume mesh. Um, okay, so without further ado, let me get started. Um, so I'm going to assume you guys know VSP and you guys know how to add a simple wing geometry here. Uh, if not, I'll probably make another video on how to use VSP's geometry modeler, but that's for another time. For now, I have it here. Uh, I want to change the span to 1 just to make all the meshing parameters more intuitive and the core to a third of a meter. And uh, if we zoom in here, we can see we have a wing. Not the best wing ever, but it'll get the job done. So then the next thing that's really important to note is that you have to set the root cap to none. And that ensures that you get a break in the surfaces and it doesn't accidentally make two conjoined surfaces. And then the tip cap, I like to set it to flat. You could try to set it to round, see what kind of meshes you get. But flat, will I can guarantee works. And that's all you really need to do for your geometry to make the geometry work. But then we go to the Analysis tab. We can go to CFD Mesh. And this is the built-in CFD Mesher that comes with uh, VSP. Uh, I've already preset some of these parameters that set the meshing properties uh, to relevant length scales for my geometry. We can see my max edge length is a fifth of my span. Um, and that's just a good ballpark number to start with. You'll probably want to refine that as you get further in. Uh, the growth ratio, I like to set it to 20%. Uh, that's basically the maximum def uh, growth that can happen between two tri-elements. Uh, in terms of display, don't really need to change anything unless you want to. Uh, in the output, uh, I've unselected everything uh, except the STL file. And this is very important. you got to make sure you select this radio button, tagged multi-solid STL. And uh, this basically is going to split up the wing into multiple surfaces. Uh, and that needs to happen so that you can distinguish between the wing surfaces and the far field. With that, I'll leave everything as it is. Uh, or actually, I want to make sure that we talk about generating the far field mesh. So I'm going to generate that. Uh, it'll make meshing in Gmesh way easier. Uh, I've set some relevant uh, edge length parameters and sizing parameters for the box. And uh, yeah, with that, I can go ahead and generate my mesh. Here we go. That's the mesh that tries on the surface, tries in the far field, uh, and that's all you really need to do. So once that mesh is exported, uh, you can run this code here. I'm going to walk you through how I would troubleshoot it if it's your first time doing this. So first I'm going to uncomment these lines, or comment these lines rather. I'm going to open up a PowerShell window. I'm going to cd over to this directory. And I already set my gmesh on my environment variables path, so it'll execute automatically. And I'm going to import uh, or run this wing.geo script, which is in my testing folder. Uh, and all this really is going to execute is merge wing STL, and that's going to give us an idea of what VSP spit out. Great, so there's a mesh that we made in VSP. That looks good. If we go up to Tools and then Visibility, we can indeed see that VSP has split up our geometry into three surfaces, uh, the left and right hand sides of the wing, and then the far field. That's exactly what we wanted to see. And now if I go to the script, I've created a surface loop. This is basically grouping together a bunch of the, uh, a couple of the surfaces, which in the next step, um, I'm going to create a volume number one with surface loop number one. And then I'm going to tag some of the surfaces where the left and the right hand side is wing, and then that third surface as far field. Okay, so if we run that, we should get mostly the same result. Not a lot changes at first glance until we go to mesh and then 3D, 
we see that we do indeed have a three-dimensional mesh that takes into account our wing in the middle there. Uh, now this is a terrible mesh, don't take this as a good example. Uh, you'll have to do a lot more work to get this to be right, but this is good just to get you started. Uh, there's a bunch of command line arguments that you can enter that can refine this mesh properties, but I'll leave it uh, to you guys to go read the manual about that. Um, but after you have that working, you can basically exit GMesh, and then you can run the three-dimensional export, three-dimensional mesh uh, solver and export SU2 for file format um, in one command line just like this. Boom. And that's done. And so now if I go to the folder, uh, where is it? We can see that we have the geo file, which builds the geometry in GMesh, the STL file exported from VSP, and the SE2 mesh that GMesh uh, exported. OK, so with that, I uh, hope that helps some of you out. And uh, I'll be making more videos in the future. So let me know if you'd like to see something related to OpenVSP or aerodynamics in general. All right.